for good reason. I was really sick, y'all. I was like, I was for real, for real sick. Like, I didn't feel good. I'm still a little under the weather now, but I'm better than yesterday, goddammit. So, let's go ahead and get into this review. Oh, before I start, I don't know if you guys heard of that show, Love After Lockup. I am going to be doing reviews on that show as well because that show is funny. <laughs> so it's just crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing a review on that show as well. Even though I'm late getting in. They're on the third episode now. But I should be uploading a review for that show. Maybe today or tomorrow. We'll see how this goes. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. So we start off with Juicy going to Johnny's house. So, Johnny got a little nice man cave home going on. Like, it's nice. It looks like he may be, like, single. That's that, that's the vibe I'm getting from his house. Like, I don't see no woman's touch in that crib. But, yeah, so, Juicy goes to his house because she wants him to know that she wants people to know her not only for Miss Juicy, baby, but for management, as she says. But whatever. So she says she wants to get a talent show together. And she starts telling him the talent that she wants to bring. And one is, I forgot the guy's name. He's a rapper. I guess an Atlanta rapper. And then he got his girlfriend, Lil Twerk. <laughs> oh, y'all. And she's a little person, too. So let's see how this goes. Because it ain't looking too good. <laughs> in this episode to me for her. So anyway, on to the next, you guys. So now we got uh, Amanda and Andrea. Amanda's making her sister some tea. I guess she ain't feeling good like me. I've been drinking tea all week, but we're all, for the last couple of weeks, I've been, it's just been tea, tea, tea all up in this crib. But yeah, so she's making on Andrea some tea, and my, Minnie FaceTimes Amanda. So they all sit on the couch, and Minnie got some damn, she in the hospital. She looking all messed up. You can tell she been going through something. She looks sick. So, what happened? So, she's up, she ended up telling them, like, yeah, I have heart failure. Or something like that. Something that has something to do with heart failure. So, I was like, man, like, you know, even though Minnie gets on my nerves, <laughs> I don't wish that type of stuff on nobody. So, I really hope that she gets through what she's going through, because that stuff is, I know it's tough, so, pray, prayers out here for you, Minnie, I hope that you get better, girlfriend, and stop that mess, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I hope that she, so now we're at Tanya's house, Tanya at the crib, Nico comes in, and the reason he's there is because he wants to face, you know what? I got lipstick on my teeth. Hold on, y'all. I'm always getting lipstick on my teeth. But anyway, so Nico comes over there for the simple fact of to FaceTime his kids. I'm trying to understand. Is there no FaceTime? Like, he can't FaceTime from his house? And his phone, and look, he had an iPhone when he's walking up to the porch in another scene. Like, um... Why you gotta go to your baby mama house to FaceTime your kids? He don't even pop up at the house when they there. <laughs> that just, uh, girl, I'm not here for Nico. I'm not here for Nico at all. I'm, Nico gets on my nerves, y'all. I'm not here for Nico. So anyway, so Sam pops up over there. Not unusual. She pops up over there and she's like, it's awkward because y'all know Nico and Sam don't get along. She ain't Sam ain't been here for Nico. She 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 has no patience for that man. So she walks in, she's like, What a pleasant surprise. <laughs> and Nico is just like super irritated. You can tell, you know what's crazy? Usually when your best friend and your man don't get along, it's cause that nigga ain't shit. And Nico ain't shit. And that's the reason that Sam and him don't get along because Sam has her friend's best interest at heart, and that's why Nico ain't here for her. <laughs> Let's be real here. So, yeah. So, he's like, 
well, nothing's unusual. How is it unusual for me to be FaceTiming my kids? Like, nigga, take your ass home and FaceTime your kids. Why do you need to be over her house to FaceTime now? Nico is sorry. I'm like, I just, I'm... But anyway, so as he was leaving out, he decides to go in on Sam and tell, call her. He said, go ahead and be with your little friend. And I... <laughs> people's jokes because niggas say that like they say like go ahead with be with your little friend because i know i used to say that to like go ahead hang out with your little friends then i didn't mean nothing about them being they not really little but i guess in their case it's different because they're actually little people so maybe that's why i was so offensive but it's funny because i i, I say that type of shit all the time and i hear niggas say that too like when they don't want you to do something, or when they wish you were friends that they don't, you don't care for, it's like, go ahead, hang with your little friends then. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought that was crazy. Then he gonna say some gay, all right, have fun on y'all play day. I was like, oh, he is ignorant. Like, bye-bye, Nico. Bye-bye. We not here for Nico, y'all. We, we not here. Team, no Nico over here. He can stay his ass where he get. Y'all need to start giving that man camera time, because that's exactly what he wants. So now we're with Juicy, and she meets up with Abira, and she's telling Abira, like, yeah, we're going to be meeting up with the Tiny Twins, and Abira's not really here for it. She's like, are you sure we want to do this? Like, why are we here? You know they don't rock with me. What's up? Like, why are we doing this? And she tells her, like, yo, we're going to all get along. We're going to squash all this beef now because, you know, we got money to be made. We got to be doing this. So let's squash it. And they all meet up. The Tiny Twins walk up, and I thought this part funny because the viewer was just looking like, <laughs> she just stopped, and the Tiny Twins was not here for her. They was like, you know that look when you don't like somebody? <laughs> well, yeah, so they all sit at the table, and... Abira let her them know, like, what's up on her end, like, you know, what the problem was. They came for her first, and they was talking about the whole twerking thing about how they weren't, she, they weren't dancing. It was, to me, it was over, I don't even remember, so that makes, that means it's not that serious. But Amanda was, like, shaking the table, bitch. She was upset. She was like, ain't nobody scared of you. You just ain't scared of you. This is shaking. This is shaking. Ain't nobody shaking. Ain't nobody mad. Like, girl. She, <laughs> it's not that serious. Chill out. And the viewer just sitting there like, okay, like she was calm. And that type of shit pisses people off. When you be, when somebody is upset and you just sitting there like, next. Oh, my hair was caught into my arms. See, this is why I don't like, I don't like long hair. This is what happened. I'm trying to hit through the hair flip and it was stuck. <laughs> but yeah, so, but eventually they squashed it. They're okay. I'm not saying that they're friends, but they're going to be able to get along so they can work together. So now we got Nico. I'm like, why is Nico? Why he got a scene? <laughs> so then Nico, he has a scene, and we see Monty walk up. I'm like, why is, what is going on? So Nico called up Monty because she's the only friend that had talked to him. Nico wants some camera time. Nico wants camera time. <laughs> Let's be real here. Like, come on. So, he says, he tells her what happened. I didn't know that Nico had a um, little person that's a sister. New. That's new news for me. But, yeah, so, she he tells her about how the stuff that he said called her a little rat. And, you know, y'all know what he said. And... Mine just told him, like, yeah, you just need to go apologize, and that ain't right, and all of that, like, he won't camera time. So, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna talk to him, blah, blah, like, I don't even, I didn't even care, because I'm not here for Nico. I'm honestly tired of Nico. But anyway, so now we got Minnie and her mom. So, Minnie's looking nice after getting out the hospital. She's, she's, she's looking normal again. She's looking cute, and she's at home, and she's basically talking about She's honestly talking about stuff that she's been talking about, how she needs to eat better and stuff like that in order to, you know, feel better and, you know, health-wise, get better. So, 
And then we realized her mom, she said this a couple of times. This is why, I, this is why I moved back here. This is why I moved back here. Like, girl, we know. <laughs> so basically she moved back in to help to look at the mini. I'm trying to understand what kind of lease she got. Because she always moved. How she always find? She must be finding lease to lease. Because she's always, always just bouncing out of her damn apartments all willy-nilly. She either got money to pay off the rest of that rent. Or she just got, got a lease to lease. Like, you know, I mean, at least month. Um, what's it called? It's not lease to lease. <laughs> Y'all sleepy. What is it called? Um... Month to month, yeah. When you rent, instead of have not having a um a lease agreement, you rent out an apartment month to month. So I think that well, that's still a lease agreement, but still, it's not like a twelve month con you know a twelve month lease. I think she must have month to month because ain't no way you just like bouncing out your crib and moving in with your daughter anytime you want to. Like I just find that strange, but whatever. But hopefully, Mindy can get it together with her health. You know, like I said, that stuff is scary, especially with your heart. The heart is the motor to the body, so all prayers for you, Minnie. I really hope that you get better. So, so now we are with Juicy, and she's with this girl named Kaylee. Kaylee is friends with Left Cheek and Right Cheek. I don't know if y'all remember them from season one, but they now, they're on the show now, Little Women of Dallas. I have not watched the episode of Little Women of Dallas, so I couldn't tell y'all who all on that show. I've seen some clips, but I ain't never watched the show, so I'm not too familiar with that show. So, yeah. But, yeah, so Kaylee is a rapper. She's, I guess, I'm not sure if she's back in Atlanta or whatever. I don't know. But she's a rapper, and her boyfriend is an Atlanta rapper as well. So, Juicy is trying to get them to go ahead. She, I guess she's trying to manage them, too, and she's trying to get them in a talent show. So, this part cracked me up, y'all. So, <laughs> when Juicy and Kaylee went in there, they watched Vera, and they all sat down. And the Vera was like, so what you do? And Kaylee was like, I rap. <laughs> and when she said that, it's, a Vera looked at uh, Juicy like, well, damn, Juicy, what you trying to get all of the women at? She said, well, Dale Juicy trying to get all little women for trying to recruit all little women rappers over here. Like, what's up? <laughs> I don't know why they had me cracking up, but they had me. And see, I was cracking up. I love that stupid shit. So maybe that was, that's probably why it was so funny to me because I was so goofy. But that was so funny to me. And the girl was like, chill out, girl. It's room for everybody. It's room for everybody. Chill out. <laughs> Like, girl, but she right, though. It's it's money to be made. Everybody got a special spot out here, girl. You ain't got... You don't have to be intimidated, especially by her, because she can't rap. But, yeah, she's out of her because you was tripped. That was funny to me. So, anyways, they start talking at the table or whatever, and then Kaylee starts telling them how she doesn't... The tiny twins and her don't like each other, and her and Sam used to be friends. But they don't like each other anymore either. And she claims it's because that she does makeup now. And Sam was hating on her because she was doing makeup. And then the tiny twins don't like her because she's twerks and they twerk. So I'm like... It kind of makes a little bit of sense because Avira did kind of start feeling some type of way as soon as she said I rap. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe they did get mad about that. Who knows? But anyway, on to the next, y'all. So now Nico got another scene. <laughs> Nico is back. He's pulling up at Tanya's house. He's pulling up at Tanya's house because he. I'm just. I'm so tired of him. He pulls up at her house because he wants to apologize for his comments. He don't want to apologize to Sam. He wants to apologize to Tanya. And Tanya's like, okay, you know, she's still upset, but she's like, okay. But then, like, he started getting in his feelings, talking about, like, yeah, she say what she say because of you. You got people out here in the street talking about me, woo, woo, woo. And he, like, she's like, 
you know, and you said I don't take care of my kids and all this stuff, and I do. That's she was like, it's the truth. <laughs> like nigga, we all know that you don't take care of your kids. Like Nico, Nico, you a Debbie, you a Debbie. You a Debbie. So, come on now. We're not about to play these games, Nico. Like, I don't understand. Who are you trying to fool? You came to your baby, mama house, your baby mama's house to FaceTime. It did last week. I ain't make a review, but I saw last week you had the audacity to talk, say some. Um, I wish you could have called me before they left. Like, that means that you don't really check up on your kids if you didn't really know that they were going to her other baby daddy's mama house. <laughs> that means you don't take care of your kids. Because if you did take care of your kids and you were so much in their life, you would have known that. Because, yeah, she wouldn't even have to have called you. You should be calling her all. She just had the baby. Like, I'm not understanding it. Like, I'm not understanding it. Like, that part blew me too, y'all, last week when he said, well, y'all wish you could have told me so I could have some more time. Like, be a father, Nico, and stop trying to get these fucking, get your little five minutes of fame. Like, I'm just over Nico, y'all. I'm just, I can't. I'm just happy that they put Andre and Chris together on her this time. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway. Then he starts to say, like, I'm still in love with you. Everybody know it. Vaughn knows it. Like, first off, what you're not going to do is mess up what her and Vaughn got going on. Vaughn is being a good Russell Wilson right now. He's playing a good Russell Wilson. He's a good stepdaddy. You ain't going to mess that up. They need a daddy. Since you ain't going to be a daddy, he going to be their daddy. <laughs> but one man won't do another wheel. Hello. So don't try ever, don't ever get it twisted, ladies. Don't ever feel like y'all ain't gonna be able to find somebody who's gonna accept you and your kids because there's a whole bunch of men out here that's willing to love you and love a whole bunch of them little kids. If you got a lot of them, they willing to love their ass too. So don't don't get it twisted, boo. <laughs> so go on, Nico. We ain't got time for your shenanigans. Then he got the nerve. She then I thought it was funny how she put his ass in his place. She's like, what we got going on? It's over with. I'm done with your ass. So you either going to say hi to that baby or take your ass home. <laughs> she didn't even say all that, but she said so what. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all, I'm, I'm not about to play. I ain't got time for Nico and his dead beat shenanigans. Like, we're not going to go there. I don't know why Nico is acting like he, like, he, from what I see and what what's going on, how Sam, like, he's, he, uh, he's obviously not a good father. So... And I think this camera being on here, like the, the TV show, I think he feels some type of way. He don't like that image, but it is what it is. He reminds me of like the Facebook dads that like only take pictures with their kids, like post them on Facebook and then everybody think they're like amazing dads, but they're not amazing dads. Dang shit. I think Nico Paul was like that type of dad. Now like the camera's here and they see it all the time and he ain't no real daddy and he's feeling some type of way. But yeah. <laughs> So anyway, so now we at the talent show, y'all. So now we at the talent show, and they walk in like everybody walk in like they can nobody tell us no. We look good, we smell good. That's the vibe I got when they all walked up in there. Okay, it was a, especially Sam. Sam is Sam is for none. She 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 don't play these games. She do not play those games. She's here for the shenanigans. You think you're going to say some, some crazy slick to her? Oh, no, baby. She's going to let your ass know. And I think she had, she's, well, I peeped that in the beginning. Because when it like her first time on this, on, on this show, she popped off at Minnie. <laughs> and Minnie needed that. But, yeah, so. Sam looked good, though, y'all. She had a little rumper on. She was looking cute. She was looking all thick and juicy. Go ahead, Sam. I was here for it. In that wig, girl, I was here for it all, girl. You was looking real cute. And Andre had a little belly out, that little dress on. They braids were all tight and laced. To the back. It was Y'all was cute. Y'all was cute. Juicy. 
you could have came harder. But <laughs> and what, what I'm trying to remember what um Monty, you look cute too with your long your long wig. You was cute too. You was cute too. But Sam stood out to me in this one because she was just juicy. She was bold. She had it going on. Go ahead, Sam. So they all peep. Oh girl, Turkey, whatever, Miss Turk, Lady Turk, Little Turk, whatever the hell her name is. They all peep her. And she's staring at them hard. She like. <laughs> like, girl, unless you can read lips, why are you like staring at them so hard? So the show begins, and I don't know if y'all peeped that girl. I don't know her name, but I've seen her on Instagram a couple of times. And I remember, like, when that Leah movie was coming out, they was pushing this girl to play her, too. What is that girl name? B, B. Simone? I think that's her name. I gotta go back and look at the episode, but I think that was her name, though. But, yeah, she was on the At The Talent Show. They had some funny guy at the talent show. And they had other people, too, but I don't know who the rest of those people is. And that girl, the little twerk and her boyfriend, they was up the... <laughs> First of all, you can't rap, girl. You, I'm not a rapper, but I know you can't rap. <laughs> And that little, that little struggle twerk she was doing, I was like, sit your ass down. <laughs> she was in the back like, <laughs> I don't know what the hell that girl was doing, but she, that would have been me turning it off. Like, she wasn't all that. So, Vera gets on the stage, and I'm not going to stop. Vera, she decent. Don't, am I, I think she's okay. She got that, like, that old school, like, little Kim vibe to her. They're like, mm. <laughs> she had, like, that tough shit, like, that tough, like, rap game. I don't know. But I like her, though. She, like, when she's strong, like, when she came out, she was, like, like, came out strong. <laughs> but I think she was decent, though. I don't care what y'all think. I think she was okay. So, after the show was over with, they all, they're all talking, and Vera comes up like, yeah, hey, I think I did, y'all like this show? They're like, yeah, we like it, woo, woo, woo. And then little twerky come outside, come out, and they just, it's crickets. Everybody just looking like, why is she here? And they all say something, and like, they was, I swore they were all laughing at this moment, but I don't know why that little girl, why, um, let me stop saying little girl, pay. I don't mean it like little girl, like in that sense. <laughs> but I don't know why little twerky, whatever her name is, why she came for Andrea when all I swore all of them were laughing, like everyone that was in the circle was laughing. But she was like, "What's so funny?" And Sam was not here for it. She like, uh uh. She was like, she she came for her. But yeah, they all, she laughs, and she's like, what are you laughing at? <laughs> and Sam was like, then she laughing at you, and what's up? What's up? She's with child. What's up? I'm talking for her because she's with child. I was like, you know what? You go, Sam is the friend that y'all need. Sam is a good friend. She is. If we, if I met her in real life, she would be my real friend. <laughs> She was not here for it. She was like, she pregnant, so what's good? She can't fight you, but I can. <laughs> so she was not here for it. And Sam, I don't know what little twerk did to her, but Sam was not here for it. She got up and everything. They was about, she done threw a couple, cup of wine, juice, liquor, whatever. She done threw the cup at her. They was not here for it. And I don't know if y'all people Vera, she was cracking up. <laughs> She was laughing, low key up with me too. Like, what is going on? I laugh at stupid shit, so I know I've been laughing. But yeah, so Juicy like, y'all gonna mess everything up. Like, this ain't professional. And that girl, she gonna say some. I came here to be professional. Like, how you come here to be professional? But you start the whole thing. Just cause somebody laughing does does not give you the okay to be like, what you laughing at? What's so funny? Like that's the, that wasn't even the time nor place. If you really want to be there to be professional, as you say, you would have never said anything to her anyway. Cause people have the freedom to laugh if they want to laugh. You don't even know what she was laughing at. So, girl, very unprofessional, Miss. I came here to be professional. 
So yeah, y'all. So next week episode, well, they didn't really show next week episode. They show like the rest of the season. So I, usually when they do stuff like that, they, that means there's gonna be a break. So I'm assuming that maybe next week they might not come on. <laughs> but we'll see. But yeah, but I'm ready for it though, cause this episode was actually litty. So I'll catch you guys next week. I, I'm trying to be consistent with these reviews. I I felt like I was getting there, and then when I got sick, it's just it wasn't you know, it didn't happen that way. Like I'm still kind of like I'm still kind of sick, as you can see. I'm like my eyes. I feel like you can see it in my eyes, and I'm like. I need to be asleep. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed my review. I mean, and, you know, same thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you next week.